I'm very sorry about Mrs. Uh, Regan, but I'm glad she's recovering. Oh, it's been a miracle. Mm -hmm. it, uh, she's, other than when we had children, it's the first time she's ever been in a hospital as a patient. Mm -hmm. Been there many times. Her father was quite an eminent surgeon. Mm -hmm. And uh, she, for a time during the war, was what we call a nurse's aide, helping out. Yes. But, uh, my goodness, you know, the operation was only Saturday. And uh, here she is. Uh, well, Thursday morning, I'm going to go and bring her home. That's very good. I yes. called from her this morning. She was up in the shower. Well, yesterday, I was there and took her for a walk through the corridors there to give her some exercise. That's encouraging. That's very encouraging. Well, it's, it's been, well, the doctor says she's way ahead of schedule on her. Yes. Must have. Well, it's just only recent. Only a few days ago. I was in Canada, so I was following the the news on the TV. I was in Canada attending the Com Commonwealth Conference. Yes. Mm -hmm. Could I bring up a case of another thing? Uh, even though it may sound as if I'm interfering here, or I should uh, You're most welcome. I, I'm aware of uh, Mr. Gaddafi's mm -hmm. approaches and efforts to get a foothold in your part of Africa and all. Mm -hmm. And I just like to intervene in caution. I don't think he has worthy causes that are, uh, that he is he's promoting. I think he has a, a kind of world revolutionary idea. And I know it has cost a number of lives, forced us to take a drastic action in his country to let him know that we were aware we had indisputable truth that he had been back of a, of a terrorist act that killed a number of people, to including an 11 year old girl. So we thought that we should show our displeasure. We did. Mr. President, I started fighting Gaddafi before you started. What? I, I started fighting Gaddafi before you started. <laughs> In 1979. Yes. 1978. We were fighting a man called Idi Amin. Oh, yes. He was the president of our country. Yes. Gaddafi sent in troops to back Idi Amin. For heaven's sake. I was one of the leaders of, uh, leading the other side. So this was way before you started well, fighting I'm Gaddafi. Preaching. <laughs> <laughs> I'm preaching to the choir. Yes. <laughs> yes. Well, yes. it's true. I know what you accomplished. The Gaddafi sent in 4,000 soldiers to fight us in 1978. Isn't that funny? I don't know how that escaped me, and I didn't. I wasn't aware of it at all. Well, yes. 4,000 soldiers to fight us. But in Idi Amin, if you remember Idi Amin. Yes. Yeah. Well, then you don't need any. Oh, I do. Yes, I know very much about him. I, I, uh, you don't need any warnings from me about it. No, we don't. We don't. Gaddafi. We don't. We don't. But the only thing about Gaddafi, which why we're working with him, is on just one point the, the south to south trade. Yes. He's, he's one of the few people willing to do it. Compared, for instance, uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, they have got a lot of oil, which we could buy and give them food, for instance, because they, they need food. They are a desert country. But sometimes they don't uh, respond very quickly. But Gaddafi does. If you say, I give you maize, and you give me oil, he responds. So uh, Gaddafi is a wide spectrum, An Arab chauvinist. Yes. Expansionist, uh, Islamic fundamentalist, yes. but also South-South uh, cooperation. So we just speak that. <laughs> uh, well, it's a great pleasure to, to see you. Okay, you're excited. All right. Okay, thank you. Right. Thank you very much.